Marches Fontaine is a small town in the Karoo that used to house forces during the South African War. It has transformed and it is now known for its historical buildings which are rare in modern society. The town, situated in the dry terrains of the Karoo, has been chosen as a suitable location to build a station due to its low radio frequency and ideal weather conditions. The station will be dedicated primarily to the moon and it's meant to work in an integrated network with other two existing ground stations in America and Australia. NASA says its plan is aimed to advance science and explore possibilities in space. We advance science for the better of humanity, to, to, to find the solution to, to issues, cures to some uh, medical problems. That's why, you know, uh, science is, is important. Now, why we are going to, to the moon, because we would like to go further into deep space. We'd like to go to Mars. The journey to Mars is going to take time and it's going to take a lot of energy uh, and uh, it's going to challenge the way we have been operating in, in near Earth. Sansa has conducted research on the technical feasibility of the construction since 2020. The station is estimated to cost over 230 million rands and NASA will fund over 400 million rands. But how exactly will the station look like? The actual site um, will be around about one kilometer by one kilometer that will be fenced in. That will be the deep space complex. In that site we plan to establish um, an interface to our power national grid. Obviously we have to have backup for that. We will have an uh, operations room from you know, the big um, network control centers that you normally see on TV with the big screens. One of those for where our people can sit and operate. And then we will have server rooms, data rooms, those kind of things. Um, the site originally will have um, the 18 to 25 meter legs antenna sponsored by, by NASA. Department of Science and Innovation will invest over 70 million rands to build the site and make it ready for the infrastructure. I think it's to the tune of about 70 to 80 million over the next five years. So we've committed that initially we as the South African government have to invest in building the site and making sure the facility is ready for the infrastructure that NASA will put in. So we'll make sure that that uh, amount of money is available from the Department of Science and Innovation. However, remember that as soon as we start doing the tracking for NASA, there would be uh, revenues that would start to come in this area to the space agency and of course uh, to the South African public. NASA will send its crew to the space on the 14th of November on its first phase on the Artemis project. In the third phase in 2025, it will again send a crew that will land on the surface of the moon. The team will have the first woman and first person of color. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Matjis Fontaine.